Hello, I'm Mike, and today I'm going to show you how to migrate your website from Joomla to WordPress. With 100 million downloads, plenty of people are happy with the Joomla platform. However, at some point, you may need to migrate to a more powerful, flexible system like WordPress. In this video, we'll show you how to plan and complete this migration in nine straightforward steps. But before we get too far, I wanna let you know that there'll be links to more resources in the video's description below. And remember, subscribe and ring that bell to get notifications for future helpful content. Now, here are some things to consider before migrating to WordPress. Before you move from Joomla to WordPress, there are a few things you need in place. Firstly, your new WordPress site will require a domain name and hosting. Chances are you already have these for your Joomla website. Depending on your provider, you may be able to reuse these resources for your WordPress site. However, for the best results, we recommend investing in managed WordPress hosting like Kinsta. If you already have a hosting account, migrating to a new provider doesn't have to be complicated. At Kinsta, we offer free migrations from a long list of popular web hosts. We include these free migrations in all of our hosting plans. WordPress is famously easy to install. However, you can make the installation process even simpler by partnering with a managed WordPress hosting provider. If you're a Kinsta customer, you can set up WordPress by logging into your MyKinsta dashboard, then select Sites in the left-hand menu. In the upper right-hand corner, click on Add Site, then opt to install WordPress. Go ahead and follow the on-screen instructions and you'll have a new website within minutes. Unfortunately, WordPress doesn't support Joomla migration natively. The good news is that you can add this functionality by using a migration plugin such as FG Joomla to WordPress. Using this plugin, you can easily migrate all of your Joomla site sections, categories, posts, media, and tags into WordPress. Log into your WordPress dashboard and navigate to plugins and then add new to install this plugin. You can now search for the FG Joomla WordPress add-on. When this item appears, click on Install and then Activate. Before migrating your Joomla website, it's a good idea to create a backup. Doing this ensures that you won't lose all your Joomla content if you encounter any issues during the migration. You can back up your Joomla site using the Acuba Backup extension. After installing this extension, select Home Dashboard from Joomla's left-hand menu. Your notification section should now contain a new backup up-to-date option. Give this notification a click. If this is your first time accessing the Acuba Backup settings, then Joomla will ask you to configure this extension. Acuba Backup can handle all of the setup for you, so select Configuration Wizard when prompted. The Configuration Wizard will now determine the optimal backup settings for your site by running a series of benchmarks on your server. Once this test is complete, click on Backup Now. You can now name this backup and add a comment. When you're happy with the information you've entered, click on Backup Now. Now that this extension is configured, you can create a backup at any point. Navigate to Components, and then Akiba Backup, and then Backup Now in your Joomla dashboard. Although it's not as vital as copying your Joomla content, you may want to backup your WordPress website before proceeding. This will give you a blank slate that you can restore if something goes wrong during the migration process. Kinsta's customers can create a backup on demand by logging into their My Kinsta accounts. Here, you can select the site in question, followed by backups. Then select the manual tab, followed by backup now. The program will now create a complete backup of your WordPress website. In your WordPress dashboard, navigate to Tools and then Import. Now find the Joomla FG option and click on its accompanying Run Importer link. The subsequent screen displays all categories, posts, pages, media, and tags in your site's underlying database. Even a fresh WordPress installation may contain some content, such as the default category and some sample web pages. Most of the time, you'll want to import your Joomla content into an empty site. For this reason, we recommend using the empty WordPress content button to wipe the slate clean. Just be aware that doing this will permanently delete all of the content from your WordPress site with zero chance of recovering it. If you want to hang on to any of those categories, posts, pages, media, or tags, you must create a backup. When you're ready to proceed, select Remove All WordPress Content. Then, click on Empty WordPress Content. After a few moments, the plugin will display a message confirming that it successfully purged your site. Your posts, pages, media, and tags should now be zero. WordPress has an uncategorized category by default. Therefore, your category tally will remain at one, even after deleting all of your content. The next step is entering your Joomla database parameters. In a new tab, log into your Joomla account. In the left-hand menu, select System. Then, click on Global Configuration. You can now select the Server tab. Next, scroll to Database Settings. 
This section contains your host, database username, database password, database name, and database tables prefix. These values are essential for migrating your data, so switch to your WordPress dashboard and scroll to the Joomla website parameter section. Find the following field, URL of the live Joomla website. In this field, enter the URL of your Joomla website and opt to transfer your data over HTTP. Now click on the test the media connection. Doing this will check for any potential issues during the import process. Assuming that you pass the test, you'll need to provide all of the information about your Joomla database. This means entering your host name, database name, username, password, and Joomla table prefix. You can copy each piece of information from the Joomla dashboard and paste it into the appropriate field in WordPress. The Joomla Global Configuration page displays your database information apart from your database password. If you cannot remember this password, you can connect to your server via file transfer protocol using a client such as FileZilla. Then, navigate to your Joomla website's root folder. You'll find the database password in your configuration.php file. After entering these database parameters into WordPress, click on Test the Database Connection. WordPress will now check whether these parameters work. If the connection is a success, you're ready to import your content. In your WordPress dashboard, scroll to the behavior section. It contains all of the settings that you'll use to configure your import. You can now choose which content you want to migrate. It includes archive posts, media, and meta keywords. You can also configure how to handle your site's media. For example, you might opt to import featured images only. By being selective, you may be able to accelerate the migration process. At this point, you'll also have the option to migrate your Joomla site's intro text. This short snippet teases visitors with a preview of the full article. You can choose to transfer this content as an excerpt, combine it with the full content, or both. After making your selection, scroll to the bottom of the screen and click on the Start, Resume, the Import button. The plugin will now import all of the content from your Joomla site. FG Joomla to WordPress will notify you once this process is complete. You may have transferred your content, but there's still a chance that the internal links within your pages and posts won't work. Broken internal links can seriously damage the visitor experience. They can also impact your site's SEO. When the search bots index your content, they have a limited crawl budget. The last thing you want to waste this precious budget on is broken URLs. Thankfully, the migration plugin can scan for broken internal links. To perform this check, click on the Modify Internal Links button. FG Joomla to WordPress will now scan your site for dead URLs. WordPress comes with a default theme pre-installed. However, it may not be the best fit for your migrated Joomla content. You can check to see how your site appears and functions with the default WordPress theme by visiting it in a new tab. Alternatively, you can look at a specific web page by navigating to posts or pages. Then hover over the web page in question and select view. If you're unhappy with the default look, then it's time to install a new theme. When it comes to choosing a WordPress theme, there's no shortage of options. To install a theme from the official repository, navigate to appearance and then click on themes in your WordPress dashboard. You can then select Add New and start exploring the available options. When you find a theme that catches your eye, hover over it and then click on Preview. This will display your site as it will appear with a new theme applied. When shopping around for a theme, it's wise to pay attention to the average star rating and the reviews, particularly the most recent feedback. With over 3 billion smartphone users worldwide, your theme should also be responsive and mobile friendly. When you find your perfect theme, select Install and then Activate. Your migrated Joomla content will now be using this new theme. Permalinks are the permanent URLs that lead users and search engines to your pages and posts. As the name suggests, these links are supposed to remain unchanged. While it is possible to edit your permalinks later, this can result in broken links. It may also damage your SEO. Therefore, picking the right permalink structure is essential for setting up a new WordPress website. WordPress supports six different permalink structures. To take a look at your options, navigate to Settings and then Permalinks. By default, WordPress uses the plain structure. It includes an ID-based slug. However, the structure doesn't tell the search engines or visitors anything useful about the page, which is bad news for SEO and the user experience. For this reason, we recommend switching to the post name permalink structure. It will generate a URL slug based on the page or post title. This setup is much better for visitors and can provide an SEO boost. To change your permalink structure, select the post name button, then click on save changes. Every domain points to at least two name servers. Depending on how your site is set up, you may need to connect your domain name to your host server. This process is known as repointing your domain. Kinsta customers can repoint their domains from the My Kinsta dashboard. In the left-hand menu, select Sites followed by the name of your website, then click on Domains. Next, click on Add Domain. 
In the subsequent pop-up, enter your domain and select Add Domain and Continue. You'll now need to verify that you own this domain. You'll add two text records to your domain's DNS to achieve this. Your DNS provider is where your domain's name servers point to. It may be your domain's registrar or another DNS provider. If you're using Kinsta DNS, we automatically add these text records for domain verification. In your DNS provider's management panel, add a new text record. For the first text record, use this information. For the second text record, use the at sign in the hostname field. For the content text field, use your unique UUID value. After adding these text records to your DNS provider, switch back to your MyKinsta tab. Then click on OK, I've done it in the Verify Domain modal window. Depending on your provider, the text records may take up to 24 hours to propagate. Once you've successfully verified your domain, switch back to your hosting provider's dashboard. In MyKinsta, click on the Point Domain button, which appears alongside your custom domain. As part of this process, you may need to point your root and www domain to MyKinsta. To ensure you're not missing out on any traffic, you can also add support for wildcard domains. WordPress is designed to be an intuitive and user-friendly platform. However, when it comes to mastering new technology, you may benefit from expert advice. Fortunately, there's no shortage of resources that can help you get to grips with the WordPress fundamentals and beyond. To start, the official WordPress Codex has an in-depth learn to use WordPress section. It can be invaluable for first-time WordPress users. There are also some quality WordPress courses. These courses have a lot of information to help you get up to speed with your new platform. Alternatively, if you prefer a more hands-on approach, you may want to try out our free DevKinsta tool. You can use this tool to quickly and easily create a local WordPress installation. The setup is perfect for experimenting with the platform in a private, secure environment without affecting your live site. Looking for a quality local development solution? With DevKinsta, in a single click, you can design, develop, and deploy new WordPress projects from your local machine. Plus, it's 100% free to use, even if you aren't a Kinsta customer. Download it today at kinsta.com slash devkinsta. And thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials, explainers, and helpful content like this.